So, what's a first step to learn Chinese? As you might have guessed, it's like learning every other language, the pronunciation. And to learn the pronunciation, you have to learn the phonetic system. So in Chinese, the phonetic system is pinyin. And today, we're going to have a brief introduction of pinyin. Hello, everybody. My name is Daisy, and I'm your teacher today. So the Chinese phonetic system is pinyin. Many foreigners call it Chinese alphabet. What? 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 But wait a second. Isn't Chinese written like this and this? Yes, you're right. If you want to learn to read Chinese books, magazines, or watch Chinese TV, you need to learn the Chinese characters. But if you want to speak Chinese, you have to learn the phonetic system first. That's pinyin. In pinyin, there's 26 letters. It's just like English. Instead of V, there's U with two dots on top. Each Chinese character has a pinyin syllable. A pinyin syllable, there are three parts. An initial, a final, and a tone. And the tone is always on top of the final. So for example, 你好, in Chinese, that's hello. 你好, the 呢 and 呵 are initials. 一 and 奥 are finals. And those on top are the tone marks. The tone marks are always on top of the finals. In Pinyin, there are 21 initials, 36 finals, and 5 tones. These are the 21 initials, these are the 36 finals, and these are the 5 tones. Don't worry, we are going to get through all of this in the following lessons. And most of the Pinyin syllables are with 3 parts, initials, finals, and tones, but there are also a lot of pinyin syllables without initials. They are just composed of finals and tones. For example, a. Uh, there is only the final a uh, and the tone mark. There is no initial. That's enough for today's brief introduction to pinyin. In the following videos of this series, we are going to dive deep into the 21 initials 36 finals and 5 tones. Make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of my following videos. If you have any suggestions or opinions, please leave a comment below. I will adjust my content according to your requirements and needs. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.